Hi, this is Gail with Bernina of Naperville, and today we're gonna make a pair of yoga pants. Now, these are super easy yoga pants. They're really only two pattern pieces. It is the leg and then the rollover band. And uh, I couldn't help but resist, I couldn't resist making them out of our super cute bulldog yoga fabric. And of course, I'm gonna be using our brand new Bernina L850 serger. So you can surge along with me and let's get started. All right, so what I did is I actually downloaded a pattern from McCall's and this is a one piece leggings pattern. Um, I did it really down and dirty and really quick. I taped my pages together, um, created my design, and I only made uh, a couple small alterations. I am very short, so I cut about four inches off the length, and I expanded the legs so that they're not tight around my ankles. These are gonna be more like yoga pants than leggings. And then finally, I have a little bit more going on in the caboose, so I added just a little extra here and then added a little bit higher up in the waistband because typically what happens with my pants when I make them is there's a lot of material right here and then not enough to go over the bitty bitty bum bum. So I'm just going to get this cut. I'm going to cut my notches and then I'll meet you at my overlocker machine. To sew our yoga pants together, we're going to use a four thread overlock stitch. It's the easiest one. You're gonna thread your blue looper, your red looper, and your green right needle, and your yellow left needle, all in the same color, of course. Tensions are gonna be four, 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 and four. Your stitch length, which is up here, is gonna be set to 2.5, differential feed to one, cutting width to six, and yeah, that's about it. Let's get started. So I'm working here on my Bernina L850 and I've got my seam guide set up for 5 8 of an inch and I am ready to sew my leg together. Now I also want you to know as I put this under my machine I want you to notice how I've pinned. I've pinned with the head of the straight pin towards me and I've also pinned it parallel to the seam. Now normally I would have my pin going in this way but with a serger I want to be a little bit more careful that I don't accidentally miss a pin and get it stuck on the knife. So I am just about ready to start. I'm going to use my knee lever to raise my presser foot and get it right under there to hold my material into place. I'm going to pull out my pin and now I'm going to press on my foot control. Now I'm going to start off slowly with this, but then as I feel more confident stitching, I can increase my speed. And don't forget to remove the pins before you get to them. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pin. This is the inseam of our pants. There's no outer seam on the leg because it was a one piece pattern. So I'm just going to feed this through my serger both sides and then I will have two legs. All right. I'm on leg number two and I just wanted to give you a different angle in case you needed to see a little bit closer what we're doing.
right, so now that I have two legs, I'm gonna take one of my legs and turn it bulldog side out. You know, I'm making these so Camilla will like me more. Because every morning she does her little bulldog yoga and she looks just like these little bulldogs. All right, so I've got one leg that is right side out and one leg that's inside out. So I've taken my my right side out. I've taken my right side out leg with the seams matching and inserted it in my wrong side out leg. And I am gonna match up the crotch seam. You know, I've never really liked that word crotch, but it's what it is and I don't know of another word for it. Then there's a notch on the front and there's a notch on the back. You get double notches on the back and a single notch on the front. And that's how it is with most patterns. So you're gonna pin those and then you're gonna pin up to the waistline. And there it is. And so I'm gonna do this on the other side and then I'm gonna complete my serging. All right, it's stitching on a curve. So all of the same items apply or techniques. I'm gonna put my material right under my foot. And now I'm gonna stitch or serge. I can't tell you how much I like this Pernina L850. And right now we only have one and I, I don't take it home because I'm afraid of transporting it because the luggage isn't here yet. So there is luggage available for these because you're gonna wanna bring these to Bernina of Naperville for your classes. And I, I do wanna tell you, if you think you want to get one of these, you better pre-order so that you can make sure you get one of these for the holidays to make your stockings, all that holiday stuff you make, your Festivus ribbon. You know, things like that. And now we have something that's going to resemble some pantaloons. Here are our pantaloons. Look at that, little bulldog yoga now. Whenever I do a new stitch on my machine, I try to do a test go. So we're going to do a three thread wide flat lock in order to create our blind hem. Now I'm working on the L850 and there is a blind hem foot available, but it's not quite out yet, but I can still do a blind hem using my multi-purpose foot or the standard foot that comes with the machine. Notice on your foot that you have a few markings and these are the two that I want you to pay attention to. This little line uh, corresponds with the left needle and this little line corresponds with the right needle. So we wanna pay attention as it goes up the little line here that I'm gonna line my folded edge so that it is just under that line right there. So here's the material. The idea is that I'm gonna fold this up like this to create a hem. Now this is a little larger, but you know, sometimes it's good to work with a larger hem when we're practicing to get started. And then I'm gonna fold this back on itself, exposing about a quarter of an inch, just like this. And then this is what we're going to serge with the other loopers, the upper looper and the lower looper, but right here is where we're going to take just a little bite into our material. And another thing that we need to do is we're going to need to adjust the stitch length, and I'm just going to make the stitch length at 4.5. I've adjusted my tensions, I've removed my right needle, and now I'm ready to stitch. And now see how I'm lining this up? That's my folded edge right there. Now this is a situation where my little 
knee lever works really well to get things started. And I'm gonna use my foot control, obviously, to make my machine go. So I'm gonna just stitch, and I'm gonna go with my stitch-by-stitch stitch sewing to make sure that I'm getting my needle in just the right spot. So now we're looking up there, and the idea is that we just want to catch the wee little bit of this material. Don't be discouraged if you don't catch the material on your first pass. This is just the kind of thing that just takes a little bit of practice, practice, practice. All right, and now I'm just gonna sew off. And now let's look at what we made. So now there's our little blind hem stitch that we created. And so you can see here, so that is what is my the edges of my cuffs are going to look like on my yoga pants. And with this blind hem, you can also see that I do have an overcast stitch here so that my material will not unravel when I wash my pants. I've removed my right needle. I've removed my expansion table because I'm going to use my free arm. And I have my tension set to seven for the red path four for the blue path, and two for the needle. The red path is the lower looper, the blue path is the upper looper, and of course the yellow path, number two, is our left needle. So let's go ahead. I have turned my pantaloons inside out, and I'm doing a little blind hem using this machine. Leaving about a quarter of an inch from the fold, once again using my awesome and delightful Bernina freehand system to get my piece under here. So the idea is as I sew this, come closer everybody, let's really get closer so that you can see what I'm talking about here, is that when my needle goes down into my material, it's gonna go right onto that folded piece. And as I turn my handle or my hand wheel, I'm going to take just the wee littlest bite out of that fold. And I've adjusted my presser foot pressure to be a little bit lighter than normal. I'm going to trim and have a look. So this is my 35 inches by 14 inch uh, cuff for the top of the waistband. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to fold this over and simply serge. This is going to be the back that aligns with the back seam of the pants and you're going to take this piece and just serge down this area. All right, now we're just going to serge our cuff for the top of our yoga pants. And once you've done that, we're gonna turn this inside out. Well, not really turn it inside out, we're gonna fold it in half so that 
our white inside of our material is covered. So we've just made a tube and a cuff. And then this could also be an opportunity for you to press a little bit to get it flat. <laughs> okay, so. Just lining up all your materials like this. Okay, so now another thing that we wanna do after we get everything pressed and lined up is we wanna make sure that we put a pin in this section here, cause this is gonna line up with the back seam. This seam that has the little fold and our pin in it is gonna line up with the front seam so that we can distribute the weight or the, the material along the top of our yoga pants. All right, I'm getting ready to put my cuff of my waistband on my pants. So I have one edge marked right here, that's my seam. Then I folded this in half and I'm gonna put a pin in to mark that intersection. And this is gonna make things much easier for you because this will help us evenly distribute our cuff along our, our waistband. So the seam is gonna go towards the back of our pants. And we're gonna line these up. Remember, this is for a serger, so we're gonna pin going this direction. And now on this other side, I'm gonna take the front of my pants and line this up to my front seam Always making sure your pins for surge and go in the same direction here. So now I'm just going to evenly distribute the material. Evenly distribute everything so it's nice and even. And now I see that I've got a little bit more bunching here, so I'm gonna maybe redistribute some of my pins here. And you do that by easing just a little bit. I mean, these are knits, so we can kind of stretch and sew. Making sure that as we get around, it's gonna lay flat. There we go. There we go, this, this is looking really good. And now we're gonna repeat for the other side. So you kind of take this long side, stretch it out a little bit, <laughs> making sure there are no puckers. Lining up all of our edges. There we go. This is looking good. All right, now we're ready to surge something. I'm using my knee lever to get my pieces under here. Now I'm gonna get started in trimming but I don't want to sew over that pin, so I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to redistribute. Going right around. Making sure everything is flat underneath.
Camilla, we got a pair of bulldog yoga pants. All right, so we've got a pair of bulldog yoga pants ready for a workout. So I hope that you learned something. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to sew with knits on our new Bernina L850. And uh, until next time, see you then. Don't forget, if you want to see more videos just like this one, tune into our YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And if you would be so inclined, always share, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to alert every time we upload a video just like this one, click the little bell and boom, there we are in your mailbox. All right. Thanks a lot and happy sewing.